Okay, I'm gonna make a video on what I should have done back in school looking back. This video is gonna be like super useful for anyone who's in school right now and is wanting to get the most out of it or is at university right now and is wanting to get the most out of it. I'm gonna give you the lessons and stuff that I wish I did looking back but I now you know, can't do because I'm out now. At school. I was shy, unconfident, lacked social skills, couldn't speak to anyone really. And I remember in the sixth form, they introduced girls for the first time. And the amount of opportunities I missed, even just speaking to them. I must have spoken to a total of four girls in the sixth form. My whole two years that I could have done more. It was tragic really. And it wasn't because I didn't want to speak to them. I was just too fucking nervous, too shy, too in my shell. I wasted two years of a good opportunity to make friends and like build connections with people. Put me back in that environment now, I'd clean up, you know what I'm saying? Just certain things I remember, certain things stick in my mind, like I was in art class and we were like mixing with another class, right? And they had girls in the class. I just wanted to speak to this person, but I just didn't speak to them. It was just so frustrating. I was just like in my head so much thinking, right, if I speak to this per I really want to speak to this person, I really want to speak. Yeah, it was I was just in my head. I just never did it. Do you know how frustrating this is, like looking back? I wish I spoke to more people at school. You know the popular guys, like, at school, right? I'm not saying that these popular guys at school are like the fucking idols, you should look up to them. Being social in school definitely would have had its fucking benefits. Even, like, in class. I was watching a social skills video the other day about someone talking about, um, you should be, like, cool with a teacher, right? And cool with everyone in class. I wasn't like that. You know there's people who have good relationships with the teacher? They're, like, the cool guy in class, right? Because they're, like, participating, they're answering questions. And the people who were doing that were higher up in the social hierarchy than I was at school. You know, if you're cool with a teacher who's in a place of power or authority, you're automatically above all these other people who aren't speaking to a teacher and on a cool level. I was watching a video about this the other day. I wish I went into class. Bang, you right, bro? Speaking to everyone in there. Fist bumping the teacher. I wish I was that guy, yeah? And at university as well, I wish I transitioned. I wish I went to university and started knowing everyone. I wish I talked to every single person I saw at university. Imagine how many more things you get invited to. Take pictures, you speak to every single person on campus you see, right? You know, you're not gonna like a lot of them. You know them, right? They know you. Imagine how many fucking invites. Oh yeah, bro, we've got a party on Friday. You should come from this one person you spoke to on Tuesday. And in the same day, oh bro, yeah, you should come to a party on Friday. Uh, from another part, from another guy who you spoke to. So all of a sudden you're getting invitations every day, five or six invitations every day to do something. Yeah? You don't even have to go to these invitations. You could sit at home if you want to do, but the fact you have the option, I didn't even have the option. I didn't even have the option most days of doing something social with someone. I didn't know back then how important being social was. It didn't cross my mind to speak to people on campus. In my mind, I was like, oh, right, let's just, you know, walk around and not speak to anyone. They probably don't want to speak to me. It's just the wrong mindset. If you want a little tip, a little something that I wish I did back in school and university is, speak to as many people as possible because there's no downside to it. Think about it, there's no downside to it. What's the downside? Oh, uh, well, what about if they text me up and they start getting really clingy and like, well, just don't speak to them ever again. There's only positive things that can come out of it. Building connections, making friends, you know, building connections with women, whatever, whatever it is. Where's the downside? They might text you a bit too much, but you could just fucking ignore them. No one ever complains that too many people are messaging them. Oh, I've just got too many people messaging me. My life's so hard. No, you don't hear that, do you? Because it's just not a downside. That's the one thing I'd learn. That's the one thing I would do differently. 